think so far of the night? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> what, what do we what do we think so far tonight, guys? Yes. The competition so far. Uh, I'm riveted. I think two of them have been really bad, and one of them has been really good. Yeah, those girls fucking killed. Didn't they? That was so good. Yeah. I thought I thought Brian was fantastic. Yeah. His competition wasn't that good, and when the competition's not that good, you don't realize how great the other person is. Yeah. But bro, I would love to see Brian battle against like a really worthy opponent because he was fucking great. I mean, Karen and Brian out there. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Ari, Ari, go fucking kill yourself. That's what he said. I didn't say that. I'm just I delivering a message. Kill, I said don't. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. She said don't kill no, yourself. you weren't that bad. Jesus no, fucking Christ. No, but Mike Lawrence really made it seem like he was the worst. That was yeah. really fucked up, Mike. Yeah. Like, oh, really all right, don't kill hey, yourself. I won't, I won't just take a bunch of pills. Put yourself in the hospital for a couple days. Jesus, I had a bad night. I'm just saying Hitler ended the body count to six million and one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> wow. I just find it astonishing that someone would drag Hitler into this. <laughs> I mean, is this what this has come hey, to? Hitler, Hitler feels fresher than Trayvon Martin, okay? It was five and a half million, Captain Optimist. <laughs> okay, we have That's a main event. Are you guys ready for the main event of the night, guys? Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking button. Why do they act like they need a human to do that job right there? <laughs> if you give me an extra $20, I could do his job as well as my job right now. You know that, Mexicans right? Mexicans take it on so much work. <laughs> Not cool, Gino. Cool, All right, main event of the night, guys. Uh, Gino. Your first roaster has been shot up more than the American public school system. Clap it up for Justy Dodge. Justy Dodge, guys. <laughs> Justy Dodge, how you feel tonight, darling? I'm all right. I don't want to make Mike cry. You might make Mike cry, but you you have a lot of you have a lot of female love Yo, in the judges section make, right now. If you make him cry, you I'm done. Win everything you have, yeah, of course. Well, Mike cries good. over everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him eat a chicken wing and cry. Do you understand? Okay. Oh, the, gloves, the gloves are off. <laughs> Uh, your next roaster gets more stoned than a Muslim stripper. Clap it up for Mike Cannon. Mike Cannon, guys. Mike Cannon. Mike Cannon, I will tell you right now, I feel like you're at a disadvantage right now. These uh, The judges over here, they're really not rooting for the guys right now. It's very oh, obvious. You know what? That's show I think business. of him as a lady, though. Yeah. I appreciate that. He's got the energy of a woman. I do. I have dainty frames and a pretty tight ass. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, what were the guys on the show? Steve. <laughs> The rapist, yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, listen to me. Usually we go ladies first, but this is the main event, so i got to make it fair, okay? But I'm going to let you call it in the air, Jesse. Call it in the air. Heads. Heads. Tails. Mike Cannon, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Prefer? Let's do it. First round, tip for ten. Right. Jesse Johns, Mike Cannon. Let's go. All right. Uh, Justy Dodge is a cutter from a white trash family. Her left arm looks like a bathroom stall in a Kentucky truck stop. <laughs> Mike's jokes are a lot like Mike cutting scars, actually. They took a really long time. Nobody likes to talk about them. They make everybody uncomfortable. The one real difference, though, is my scars actually have depth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, we get it. She has a clam. She's at a disadvantage. <laughs> Fucking pay attention to the content. <laughs> Justy has been to rehab twice, engaged twice, married once, and divorced once. It's like she can't commit to anything besides wearing the exact same outfit every day of her life. <laughs> to his high school sweetheart because much like his act trying for better didn't seem possible <laughs> I guess it's amazing yeah. that you can stay with the same chick for 20 years but you can't keep an audience's attention for more than 20 seconds <laughs> oh you right, kept going you, you should have ended it that's okay that's okay that happens that happens when you feature on the road you learn when to stop that's <laughs> just 
Dusty's last, last name, Dodge, is actually a stage name based on her ability to avoid a hanger while she was a fetus. <laughs> Fouled off the abortion joke. Alright. Fouled off Gino, god damn it. Mike opens for his, I'm sorry, Mike rides the coattails of his best friend Christy Stefano, okay? <laughs> your uh, fiance is the only thing in your life, actually, that you've gotten because Chris didn't say no to it first. <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> Justy has had so many failed Montreal auditions, it looks like she's been keeping tally on her left arm. On <laughs> <laughs> so many levels. Mike's stand-up career is a lot like Tom's shoes. Every time Christy Stefano gets a gig, he donates one to Mike for free. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> Justy and Mike, come on guys. Let's go to Barney McFarlane, what do you think here? Um, I, you know, it was, it was not bad. Uh, <laughs> they both, uh, you know what I, I think is funny though, that you were upset because she got applause. Like, she got applause yeah. like a white male. I know. You were mad. That's for me. <laughs> 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 Uh, so I'm going to go with Justy. 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 Yeah, Justy. <laughs> Let's go with Mike Lawrence. And J Justy looks like an imaginary friend only molested girls can see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you asked for a haircut, you just said, give me every member of Soundgarden. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought you were both great. I wish you would stop cutting yourself. Uh, I'm gonna feel guilty, but I am gonna give it to Mike. <laughs> Mike can't. It's split right now. And if you have a split right here, Andy This Letterman. was good. It was ebbs and flows. Uh, you both had big hits. You both had some fucking failures um, in life, but also here tonight. Um, I think this was really fun because you guys are both friends, obviously. I'm gonna give it to Mike, though. Even Justin, you did a great job. I liked your rebuttal for the, the cutting. cutting. Mike Cannon, guys. Thanks for round one. Very close. Very close. Okay, round one, Mike went first. Round two, it's going to be 30 seconds each. Uh, Justy, you're going to go first this round. Coming back strong. Ladies and gentlemen, Justy Dodge. Let's go. All right. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Mike's dad's here tonight. Oh. I'm just kidding. Mike's dad's never been there. <laughs> Mike's career is his relationship with his father, okay? He hates his dad more than he hates joke structure. <laughs> Which is a lot. <laughs> Mike has more daddy issues than an all-female open mic. <laughs> I really like that one a lot. On Mike's website, his tagline is dirty jokes from a shitty kid, when it should be shitty jokes from a faggot. <laughs> soccer. Yeah, weird. Uh, but don't worry, nothing illegal happens. Mike's never been that close to a tight five. <laughs> I'm to, okay. Uh, Justy has had one abortion and it was such a traumatic experience that Planned Parenthood refused to sell the fetus. <laughs> Just take my reaction from over there. Um, yeah, doctors weren't sure whether or not to call it an abortion or a miscarriage. They've never seen five minutes of comedy kill a baby. <laughs> Justy's wedding, the one she actually went through with, uh, took place in an elementary school gym in, in Staten Island. It was later destroyed by Hurricane Sandy. Unfortunately, her marriage didn't last. It was later hit by Hurricane Irony. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Well, Justy's wedding was the worst nightmare to happen in an elementary school since Sandy Hook. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> <laughs> One more time for Mike Cannon, Justin Cash. Justin Cash, Mike Cannon. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> this is so close. Oh, Annie Letterman. I mean, like, I mean, I almost want to give you an award for the most mention of dead babies in one. I mean, that was really, to just throw Sandy Hook in the end, that was really special. Um, just you kill Sandy me. Hook was the name of my dead baby. I mean, if Sandy Hook would be 14 years old today. Um, I'm gonna give Justy. I'm gonna give Justy this win because she did well, and she also had to marry J.F. Harris. So. Oh, give her a win! Jesus Christ! She needs something in her fucking life. She cut herself and then married J.F. Harris. Justy Dodge gets it in Nanny's mind. Let's go with Mike Lawrence. Man, all that cutting, I guess, was practice. Uh, that was fucking amazing. Man, that hurricane irony, that wasn't even a tropical storm level joke. Fucking Christ. Yikes. <laughs> Low forecast wins on that one. Uh, I... Oh, uh... <laughs> Stop with the metaphor, like, it's too hurtful. <laughs> the reporter shooter would come shoot him. Anyway. They hate men. Oh, keep going. No, it's fine. There was no shooting jokes. It's fine. Okay. I brought up J.F. Harris, I win. <laughs> Mike, continue. I mean, yeah, you, God, you were married in a elementary school gymnasium? What the fuck? Uh, I, I mean, you were uh, better that round. I'm going to give it to Justy. Justy Dodge. Justy takes it. And last but not least, Brian McFarland. I give it to Mike for not using any puns. <laughs> Um, Justy wins the whole thing. Fuck it. Oh, there's one more round. The third round. There's a third round. Oh, if I knew there was going to be a third round, I would have voted for Mike. <laughs> Why do we put Bonnie every week for it? And she hates being here. I mean, I've never seen a person less interested. I'm so awful. <laughs> Can you hate fuck your way through a roast battle? Jesus Christ. Alright, one more round, guys. Uh, who won first last night? I went first first, she went first. Okay, so Mike, you're going to go first in this last round. All right. Last round's going to be tip for tat. You guys have saved your best jokes, obviously, for the last round. Clearly, life. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Clearly. Mike Cannon, Justy Dodge, let's go! Alright. Uh, Justy's favorite drink is Jameson, because it's the same drink her father would breathe into her face when he molested her. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Mike's worse at working a crowd in the Ferguson Police Department. Uh, right. Too dark? Dark Ferguson. I get it. Good job. <laughs> they were black people. <laughs> Gino, you're ruining the energy. <laughs> Justy discusses all of her problems in her stand-up, which is bad news for her career because her tar target demographic have already killed themselves. <laughs> Mike has a conspiracy thug podcast. Big shock, right? Uh, but Mike, you're a broke, shitty, unfunny, about-to-be-fat-again comic. Kinda. Here's the real conspiracy. What the fuck does your fiancé see in you? <laughs> Got a thick piece. All right. <laughs> yeah! 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 Right. That would explain why you're not funny. <laughs> Is it me and Rich? Is that what we have in common? Rich and I? Big, thick dicks? All right. Justy's the only person I know whose body odor forced her hair into dreadlocks. <laughs> have you seen your pit stains? Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> Mike's also a giant alcoholic, okay? His act is a lot like his liver. They're both being killed by booze. <laughs> Let's fight for me, okay? That's fun! <laughs> Justy's ex-husband got sober and then divorced her. It's the first ever case of alcohol making amends with a person. <laughs> Mike, you look like an unemployed Disney prince. <laughs> you are literally proof there 
are too many white males in comedies. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Bonnie. <laughs> She might let you with that fifth piece. <laughs> One more time for Justy Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow, you guys really teetered out at the end. Uh, <laughs> let's go with Bonnie McFarlane. What do we think here? Well, I, you know, I, I don't think guys with big dicks should do comedy. I just, I think it's for people like you who don't have a big piece. Yes. Me? Yes. Me? Yes. Me? I think do you think? Show it, show it, show it, show it. It's really not that good. Kurt, thank you for getting my back, but uh, it's not that great. Did it just taste better? Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, that's the best credit you have now. That he sucked your cock. Lewis, why can't, why can't you show this kind of modesty on Instagram? <laughs> Bonnie, who do you think won the fucking third round? I don't think anyone won, but I think <laughs> the person who lost less is Justy. Justy Dodge. I had zero doubt that Bonnie was going to put Justy, no matter what happened. <laughs> Justy could have come up, shot heroin, cut herself, and fell asleep on stage. Bonnie was still picking Justy. Uh, Mike has always just picked the dude. No, you don't Bonnie, say anything about him. No, I picked, I picked, uh, I picked Katie the in the first one. battle. I watch every time, Bonnie, you just pick the chicks as you text Rich on your phone the whole time. You don't even pay attention. Do you attention. really think I'm texting Rich? I have another family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Mike Lawrence. What do you think here, buddy? I mean, the, the toughest part of the night was when Justy had to realize she'll be Bonnie in ten years. Uh... <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Fair enough. It's annoying. It's just annoying. Go ahead. <laughs> He's just, uh, what? It's just torture listening to you drag out these fucking one-liners. <laughs> I know, doing one-liners on a road show, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to give it to, to Mike, your riffs were a little better, you both did lose it, but you had a little more energy, I'm gonna give it to Mike. Mike Cannon. Maybe it's a Mike Mike conspiracy, I don't know, but we have one more judge. He only because... votes for Mike's. You ever noticed that? <laughs> I noticed it, that's what I'm saying. I'm not calling everyone on this shit today, okay? I'm a real ass dude, maybe you're thinking about my website. Uh, final judge. I just feel like this whole evening feels like we were all held at gunpoint. Um, <laughs> trapped to be here. Um, I just, uh, ju I thought you guys both did a, a job, and, uh, but it was funny when he said Thick Piece, so I'm going to give it to my cannon. My cannon wins the That's not sexist, because I think Justy Dodge looks like Eddie Vedder, so. <laughs> guys, not my mom was for Justy Dodge. <laughs> For your judges, Bonnie McFarland. I'm out of this life. And Mike Lawrence. Clap it up for Gino Bisconti. Gino really added to the show. Oh, Gino. Goddamn microphone. Yeah, he's the microphone. Every time you've ever been on stage, Gino, it's always been the microphone.